Traders, beginning of the week, it's important to have a look at the DXY, that's the, the US dollar index. We want to see how it's trading and it will give us clues as to the strength or weakness of the US dollar. As you know, most of the currency pairs are either correlated to or inversely correlated to the US dollar. So in this video, we're going to have a look at the uh, DXY and see if we can pick up some clues that will help us find opportunities with uh, the dollar pairs and, and other currencies. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The dollar index, this is a weekly chart. So what we have here at the moment is a break of market structure, bearish on the weekly time frame. We'll just mark that up and what we'll do is we'll work our way down the uh, time frames and get a bit of a uh, perspective. So break of structure bearish, you can see this strong bearish momentum here on the weekly and then it's held up here and we've had this bullish uh, reaction or rejection of this low. What's happened under here is this has tapped into uh, sell stops that are resting under these candles, under this range over here on the left. And uh, that's big liquidity, right? So they distribute from the high up here, drops down, and this is where big money will unload basically and, and capitalize, right? So it pulls back into liquidity again. And now the question is, you know, where to from here? So let's just mark that up as a liquidity pool. Then we'll go down the time frames and get a bit of a perspective. Okay, so bearish break of structure. We can see on the weekly that this is leaning over. We have these lower highs, lower lows, right? So big money looks like they're invested short. And you want to be on the side of the banks. You want to be trading with those guys. Again, this looks bearish, in my opinion, the DXY dollar index. So it's the same story here on the daily time frame as the weekly. So we've got this the break of these lows. It's hit the liquidity under this, this range here, reacted off that, coming back down. And, you know, the question is, okay, where to from here? Well, we go down to the 4H and just get a little bit closer to it. So my bias would be to, to look for a sell opportunity. If we have a look at this on the four-hour time frame, yeah, I mean, look, the, the thing with this now, looking at this chart, is we've got this break of structure, but more importantly, let's just change this and we'll call it a double bottom. See how we have this double bottom, triple bottom, well, these equal lows here, equal lows, and uh, then we see a strong move into liquidity, as I mentioned. And what's happened here is this have, we've had a strong reaction off that. This is traded off with speed, all right? So at the moment, this is a little bit precarious because we've got equal highs more or less here, a bit of a move slightly above. I mean, this is this is traded with a vengeance. So what's happened here is it's set up this thin candle, bullish imbalance. So we just marked that up as an imbalance. So we've got this bullish imbalance. In other words, there's nothing left and right of it. It's, it's one-way trading, pretty much bullish and the market's going to look to rebalance, right? So, I mean, look, I'm still leaning bearish with this, although this this move here has concerned me a little bit. We don't know whether this is actually going to be setting up for a reversal. That That's just a possibility. And I'm basing this, uh, this on the fact that we've got this these equal lows with an aggressive move under to hit these stops, and then it's pushed off, right? So we don't know whether they're actually gearing up to turn this around at this point. Now, I think from what I'm seeing, my bias is still going to be bearish more than anything. The four hour time frame, we can see that, look, this is, it's range bound. We can see clearly that this is trending sideways. Okay. But in saying that, if you look at this price action, right, if anything, see how we have this high, higher high, uh, and we have this, this price movement here where We've got these lower highs setting up on this side of it. I'm not looking at this from a head and shoulders point of view. Okay, I kind of disregard chart patterns. I'm looking at this more from this price action and, you know, what's it look like it's doing? It, which way is it leaning? And if anything, it's leaning bearish. Okay, so we've got this channel here kind of forming, right? And... To get involved with this, look, at the moment, as I said, it's more or less range bound. You want to come down to uh, a lower time frame. And look, seriously, if anything, see, see how this is trending bearish on the 15M. I'm going to be looking for 
continuation of this to the downside, right? So you can see here that that's happening. We've had a break of this low, right? So change in character, we'll just call it that. And a break of market structure would be, if this was con to continue down, would be a break of this low here. So I'm kind of more interested in seeing if this low gets taken out. If that occurs, then I'm going to be convinced that we have a uh, definitely have a bearish uh, trend going on here, right? But I, I kind of want to see, see, I want to see this follow through. We can see here that this is leaning over, definitely, right? So let's just see if we get uh, th this break here, and more importantly, this break of this level. If that continues down, then we can look for the dollar pairs. We can look for, you know, uh, <coughs> appropriate like the, the, the pound dollar, for example, would be a buy, you know, if we have a weak dollar. The dollar yen could be a sell, you know, the, the, the dollar, what else have we got? Dollar Swiss could be a sell. You want to keep an eye on the yen and the Swissy as well, okay? So they are risk off currency. So if the market goes risk off, the yen and the, the Swissy will gain strength. At the moment, it's slightly risk on. So we could see that the yen and the, uh, uh, the Swissy have backed off a little bit, right? And that occurred on Friday. So Friday, Monday, the, these are two days that are pretty important. I would be keeping an eye on this DXY and see if we, we see further movement to the downside. And then from there, it's game on pretty much. Now, if it moves in the opposite direction, well, it's game on in the opposite direction, right? But just look, this is still trending sideways. Just give it a bit of a chance. Today's Monday. Let the market settle Keep an eye on it into the London Open and later on the New York Open and just see how, how this trades. And yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I think we'll have a good week, but uh, you just want to see how things start shaping up, all right? Okay, guys, look, that's my, my uh, view on the DXY. Be careful. Go slowly in, in, at the beginning of the week and, and just wait for the market to, to settle and to show its hand. Love to hear your comments on this. And uh, with that, I hope you have a great day. Safe trading, and we'll see you in the next one.